Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back, of course, to the Time Bomb channel. And today we're doing an unboxing, a slightly different unboxing. I promise you, though, that there is a uh, wristwatch connection to this, uh, which is my tenuous justification for featuring the uh, unboxing. So what we're looking at today, then, is from Countycom. Um, I came across them a while back now, as they also make wristwatches. Uh, these come under the Maratac brand. And I'm not sure if that's just a sub-brand of Countycom, etc. But I don't care because to me, these uh, designs, as you can see, are no-nonsense, robust watches. They look to me to fulfill all the tool uh, requirements of a watch. Uh, so I really hope that one day I can get one of them on the channel. Uh, added to that, they also do a whole bunch of EDC gear that I guess has got a lot of CivTac use. And to me, a whole bunch of their kit looks very design spec geared. Uh, some of the standouts to me personally are this very aptly named hooligan bar. Um, you have to love one of those. Uh, um, and then the this one I also liked is the EOD breaching tool. Looks a uh, real top quality kit. Nice to have these kind of options as here in the UK we always used to remind ourselves that the reason that um, our kit was shite was because the bid was won by the lowest bidder. Just ask anyone who's fired an SA-80. Being a lie me, I can't tell you if any of the uh, county com gear is used as, as government issue or if it's just for, for those who literally like to upgrade themselves. So if any of our cousins from across the pond can help out, that would be great. Apologies for the long intro, but I just wanted to add some background to the brand as to me they've been doing some solid stuff and perhaps that not, not well, that well known um, over here in the UK. And just uh, for the watch nutters, I am rocking the uh, 5000U today, an absolute beauty. And somewhere up here or whatever, I'll pop a link uh, to that review in case you're interested. Um, let me just pause there because otherwise the rustling plastic's really going to bug me. Yeah, nothing worse than, than rustling plastic right next to the uh, camera, <laughs> the uh, phone mic. So we'll look, what we're looking at here, the first, be, uh, first aspect is then is our padded case for the radio. I know personally that I'd be really miffed if this radio got sat on in a vehicle or dropped. So to me, it's a vital piece of kit. As you can see, sorry for the sound warps there. Very, very thick uh, and very padded uh, heavyweight denier here. Um, solid there, which should just fit, fit in there quite snugly, quite nicely. And then a very um, heavy duty uh, belt or mole clip on the back. Obviously, they're now Maritech branding also on here. It'd be nice to know what the difference between the two brands are. Um, obviously, when I purchase them, they're giving you an uh, extra percent, 10 percent, extra percent discount. And then a little County Com sticker. Um, again, I'm going to pause the camera while I, while I release the plastic. Okay, sound distortion kept to a minimum, he says. Not the coffee flying while I'm in the process. <laughs> Benefits of, uh, of live live recording. Um, so this took a couple of weeks just to come through uh, from the States. Um, I got super lucky. Thanks, obviously, I imagine, to the, 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 the descriptor on the uh, import packaging. Uh, no tax paid on this. So, again, kind of happy with that. Um, and let's unbox. So we've got here, then, our instructions. Uh, these to me are going to be vital. Um, <laughs> I'll explain a little bit more about that later on. Um, got here, obviously, then our, our earplugs, uh, charging cable, and then our battery. And then this, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is our, our fer ferrite extender. Again, I'll go into a little bit more detail about everything in one second. And then just last thing, obviously, in the packet then is our radio. Oh, no, beg your pardon, not the last thing. Under here, then we've got like a, is it, I don't know if it's foam, leatherette combination, um, sleeve. Um, I kind of think that my preference is going to be to use this a lot more. It just seems a lot thicker, um, a lot more, a lot more protective, uh, which is what I'm looking for. We'll have a look at that one a bit, a bit later on. And then just to release our, our radio here. So um, it's it's as, as the uh, video title suggests. This then obviously then is the Countycom GP7 SSB Gen 4 General Purpose Radio, and if I'm not mistaken, the GP7 I believe is based on a very similar Texan model uh, with a few upgrades. Um, the colour of this particular one they call organic grey. 
Not quite sure what inorganic grey is going to look like, but yeah, moot point. Um, the key reason for me uh, buying this is that I'm doing my ham radio license at the moment, looking to expand uh, my tech understanding of radios. Um, moreover, everyone that I've spoken to rates these little units um, for on, on all levels from quality, clarity, functionality, and also sensitivity. Um, yet for so for a learner like me, that's uh, that's exactly what I'm looking to uh, <laughs> looking to pick up. Um, pricing is not is not uh, is not specifically cheap in that sense. I think the Texans are probably a little cheaper. Uh, this one came in, I think it's around ninety dollars, but obviously with those uh, discounts, um, you, you you can get that down. And in addition to that, I think if you're looking to put one of these in your bug out bag or alternatively chuck it in your travel bag, you know, for those overseas jollies, uh, it to me looks absolutely spot on. Um, so in here then, obviously this is where our batteries pop in uh, there. I believe that previous versions, so I'm just going to get rid of that box, a little distracting. I think pre previous versions ran on uh, AAAs. Um, this one obviously then where's the battery gun if um, my memory tests me correctly this one then is a, a, a lithium base um yep bl5c and i'm wondering if you couldn't use some old phone uh, phone batteries i wonder if the uh it looks very very uh, reminiscent of uh, a lot of the old nokia batteries I'll um I'll see if I've got a few of those <laughs> in the shed somewhere. Um, if I again I'm just testing my memory bank banks here. Uh, from the specs on these, I think you, it, it functions such as ultra fast scan, uh, easy tuning mode. The ATS uh, buttons on here, arrows on here, you again use for auto tuning memory function. I think that's quite quite useful to to have. Um, if I'm not mistaken as well, I think there's a, a small ferrite. Um, in here uh, but this one then obviously that extender for your switching to long shortwave I don't remember honestly the last time I actually listened to anything on long or shortwave be kind of curious to check that out maybe we can find Hanoi Hana still on there chirruping away be interesting to see um, let me just grab a uh, this one so just to give you some ideas on specs uh, so width wise coming in just under the five centimeters North to south then, so 15 and a half. And depth wise, yeah, just in at the two there. Um, sits in my, my palm. Um, yeah, brilliant, brilliant size. Uh, very, very lightweight. That battery doesn't add anything to the weight at all. Um, so again, very easy to chuck in your kit bag. Um, not sure if obviously that battery is going to be charged. I mean, I can chuck it in and test it. One second. Yeah, so the battery does have a uh, a little bit of charge in it. In it, um, obviously a little bit low there. Um, so obviously I'm going to give that a full blast and then pop it back in to uh, give it a full run and full test. Um, I think obviously what I'll need to be doing is a a full uh, follow up review when I've had a good play with it, learnt about some of the different functions, and then also taking it to some what do we call them non urban locations uh, for some sound signal tests and just to be able to see uh, what I can actually pick up on this. A um, couple of additional items I was thinking, I mean, whilst this looks pretty robust, um, I think always having a, an additional uh, antenna, um, replacement antenna, is, is kind of a nice to have. I was wondering as well about the functionality of hooking that up to a, a clip lead extender. Um, again, something that I, that I might want to test. Um, also thinking as well, I think the battery extender might be a really good option on these um just very useful to have that additional runtime and then the nerd in me feels that this silicone housing is just what we're all going to need for the upcoming zombie apocalypse add um some uh, on a serious note it will add some uh, you know some protection to this you know if you're out and about with it rather than you know if, if that's your preference rather than using a full sheath um in that sense um yep yeah. all right guys very brief unboxing for you there hope it was useful to you I'm super stoked to be giving this a run and hoping that all the other positive reviews that it receives are all very, very well founded. Um, if, of course, you own one of these and you could add any additional pointers on these particular radios for other viewers, please do drop a comment down below. As I say, this one be uh, quite new to me. 
um, in the sense. So hopefully it'll be useful with my my ham radio ventures. Um, yeah, excited to give it a try. Thanks, of course, as always, for your time and for your view. And of course, until the next video, this is your host, the Bombardier, signing off. Cheers, guys. Yunan